CataractCoach.com. Fake guy well tips and tricks. A surgeon who does a thousand fake guy wells a year shows us the secrets. Let's watch. Now here's a routine implantation, but you can see this is an interesting technique as the eye CL goes in the eye, just kind of tapping on the cornea helps it unfold. Now let's get into more details here. So here's a complete routine case. You can see making a main incision, and here's comes some lidocaine going inside as well. There's the phenylephrine, also paracentesis next to it. HPMC, hydroxyprolmethylcellulose, is being used in the viscoelastic. Here comes loading of the lens. And you see there's the lens being placed inside the cartridge. These are very, very thin lenses made of a columnar-type material. And then you can now grab with forceps through the tip of it, these specialized forceps. Grab that ICL and bring it in to the tip. There's the micro-sponge hydration. And now you get this thing delivered nice and easy into the eye. Now, obviously, the idea is to put this in the ciliary sulcus under the iris with those tabs. So here it is in the um, anterior chamber. And now a little more viscoelastic. That's the HPMC. And now tucking all four corners. There's one. Here's two. And now coming across the eye. There's three and four. And now all four corners are tucked. Pretty easy. Removing viscoelastic now from the eye. It looks like that was just done through the main incision. Not sure why there was a second side put there. Hydration of the incision, a little antibiotic going in. Looks pretty darn good. So that's a routine kind of case, but we're going to show you some interesting ones too. How about when the pupil is small? So here's one with a smaller pupil. Again, the ICL going inside the eye. Here it is on top of the iris in the AC. And now a little bit of HPMC hydroxyprolmethylcellulose. Get that lens now tucked in, here's using this instrument to go get all four corners tucked. Here's one, oh, two, and look at that rotation as it's being tucked. Three, I like that idea. And you've got the viscoelastic helping to protect the anterior lens capsule. You don't want, obviously, to damage or touch the anterior lens capsule for fear that you may cause a cataract. Here's removal of the viscoelastic. And again, that comes out pretty easy. If you don't get all the HPMC out, that's okay also. Remember, it can wash out by itself pretty easily. Maybe just give the patient some acetazolamide orally in the post-op period. Now, it looks great. And at the end here, just seal up the incisions. Now, this is from our podcast from yesterday. If you listen to our Cataract Coach podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology, we had Dr. Roger Zaldivar explaining all these techniques, and he gave us these videos to show you today. So again, check out that Cataract Coach podcast. It's everywhere where you find your podcast. I promise you'll learn a lot. Now, let's look at another one. Here's how to extract the lens, and you can just grab it perpendicular, meaning you can grab along the short axis. So you can see here using a diamond, making a paracentesis. And then to grab this lens, you want to first use viscoelastic, get it elevated a little bit. And then here's there's the diamond again. He's using that to enter, side, enter inside the eye. And then the incision is probably about 3 millimeters wide. Maybe you could do even 2.8. Then if you needed to, you could do FACO through that same incision. And now with these spe same special forceps used to load the lens, you're going to grip it and hold on to it. So again, there's probably some anesthetic going inside the eye. Maybe some phenylephrine, lidocaine. That's going to help a lot. And then the viscoelastic can go in, and a little viscoelastic can be very helpful to elevate this off the anterior lens capsule. So there's the HPMC. Again, that's hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. In the U.S., that's often sold as OcuCoat. And so there's the viscoelastic. There it goes in. Here we go. Nice and easy. And I'd put a little underneath it, too. Is he going to do that? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. There you go. A little viscoelastic underneath it just to help elevate it. And now it's easy to grab with those same forceps. So these are these long-tipped uh, forceps. Actually, here, look at that. Just a regular foot pair of forceps. You can just kind of grab onto it anywhere. This is just some, some straight tying forceps. Grab it there and then just give it a little gentle pull. It'll fold on itself and come out of the eye. It's very, very thin, so it's easy for it to fold on itself. So there you go. Now you saw an extraction there, and that came out pretty easily. Now if you needed to, you could do a cataract surgery. So certainly this lens is removed quite easily. Let's look at one more here. You can see the lens has caused an anterior kind of cataract there, anterior subcapsular. So making the incision viscoelastic, if you need to, put it underneath it. There we go. Grab all these straight tying forceps, and you can just pull it right out of the eye. Hey, beautiful case. Remember, check out that podcast every week, a brand new episode. You'll learn a lot.